Welcome back to the energy harvesting experiments on this little workbench. First of all, some good news. If I zoom in a little there, you should see, there we go, there's a flash. Give it a couple more seconds, there we go. And what this is connected to now is just that piece of copper. And that is a vast improvement on what I was using before, which is this huge computer heatsink which seemed to do the trick before and I wanted to find something smaller. So I'm delighted that that piece of copper on there does work to make this flash. There we are. So of course a big question would be, does it work when the computer is switched off? Well, shutting it down now, there we go. Computer's off, speakers are off, everything's off. Let's have a look at the LED. There we are. You saw the flash. Let's, there we go. And again. So it would seem <laughs> it's just the same as with the big heatsink. That it does in fact keep going with that piece of copper. That's just really cool. The other big change you can see immediately are the two grounds. What I've got is this piece of copper and underneath I've got the computer processor, the AMD K6 from the 90s and when I put a piece of paper between maybe it acts a little bit like a capacitor and a capacitor, not really sure but I got the idea from High Key Comps 1146 who said try using two separate ground connections and I'm not sure if it does make a difference too much but it certainly evidently has had this thing running so yeah Thanks very much for that suggestion. Oh, and actually, just to add, we'll wait for it to come around. There we are, it's flashing. <laughs> when I've just put them stacked like that. So, well, I'm quite impressed with that. Now, the next part might be very surprising. If I zoom back in again, and we should see, yes, the LED is flashing there. Let's just let it do it again. There we go, flashing. But now, we don't have metal, a big metal piece. We have that. And that's something I'll want to discuss in a minute because I've no idea what it was for. Um, anyway, I'll show you more about it. So here it is now off the computer and I have no idea what I made this for. It's obviously some form of antenna. It has diodes down the bottom which I'm not connecting to. But interestingly, it still seemed to work when those were connected as well. Instead, I've just simply connected to that point there, which is on the end of these lines of, well, what is it? About 24 gauge AWG copper wire. So now, to work as an antenna thing, a collector thing on top of the computer, we don't even need a big chunk of metal. Just that. And that was very, very interesting to me as a finding. Now, one thing I've noticed with this one especially, but because of the two rounding planes, is if I move it a bit away, and it seems to be this area where it'll pick up most energy, and in specific places, with this um, antenna anyway, as it is. So as you can see, there's absolutely nothing now going on with the LED. But there's some kind of capacitive thing that does go on, because if I move my hand towards but not touching the metalwork and sometimes it will flash the LED there we go and it just seems to be an effect of I don't know some kind of capacitance as I say you can see that it's not running it's not flashing but if I bring it towards not touch then we may get something there we go. <laughs> Not actually touching it. If I do touch it strongly, there we go, then it'll flash away quite readily, quite happily, and quite quickly in comparison. So there we are, just another interesting little finding. And what I want to do now with this is I want to see whether it carries on going when I turn the computer off. So, gone for a shut down there. Screen's going off, there we are, computer's gone off. 
And is it still going? Yes it is. Yep, it's still going. And that's with just the piece of copper there instead of the, the two of them. So we even cut down on that. There we are. So that's where this is up to now.